Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, so today we're going to talk about building a monkey repo in three minutes with Terraform in 10 minutes. <laughs> All right, so um, for those who don't know me, my name is Graham. I'm on the systems engineering team at Airbnb. And I have this problem where I feel need to give all my software, uh, software away for nothing. Um, and I also have a problem with automating all the things. Um, I kicked testicular cancer balls in, in the balls last year. Um, um, so I didn't, there's, uh, there wasn't really much of an achievement. I sort of laid there and it happened. Um, <laughs> but um, if you find this talk useful in any way, please find your way to grain.at slash Movember. All right, so this is not a session on what Monkey is. Um, today, we're only going to concern ourselves with setting up the required infrastructure in AWS to support running a Monkey server at scale. So this is, however, a session on what Terraform is. Terraform allows you to stand up infrastructure in many places. Amazon Web Services, Google Compute Platform, Azure, DigitalOcean, VMware. You name where you might want to run infrastructure, Terraform probably hasn't provided for it. So let's say I have a beach ball that I need to define as code. Um, I need a volunteer. Um, sure. All right. Stand somewhere. We haven't stood up anything yet. We're not in the three minutes yet. So, hi, Brian and Graham. Nice to meet you. OK, so, Brian, do you have a small beach ball with many colors in your hands? There we go. <laughs> so by asking Brian if they have a beach ball, I've run my Terraform plan. So to correct our state, Terraform knows it needs to create a beach ball at this point. So now it's time to run our apply. So Terraform apply. Ta -da! <laughs> Terraform has now informed beach ball web services that we require a beach ball with these attributes. Um, ID will work out later, size small, colors many. <laughs> but then we decide we need to scale our beach ball. This is not a big enough beach ball for all of our beach ball users. Um, Brian, what size beach ball do you have? Small. <laughs> <laughs> Terraform plan. All right, so we're now divergent from our desired state. We ha currently have a small one. Terraform needs to make a bigger one. So we can do Terraform apply. And there you go. Ta -da. All right, so I'm now telling Beachwall web services to make our correction. In a nutshell, that's basically how Terraform works. It talks to APIs and then tells those APIs what to do. It doesn't create resources directly, which is kind of what makes it so powerful. For example, at work, we manage parts of our firewall with Terraform because our firewall has an API. Thank you very much. Terraform destroy. <laughs> but we're supposed to be talking about monkey, right? Not beach balls, because beach balls, while well, it's fun, are not very useful. So what infrastructure would we need to deploy for our monkey repo? Well, we definitely need someone to serve our files from. We could certainly stand up a Linux box uh, running Apache or Nginx. But I'm lazy, and Amazon can scale storage a lot better than I can. So we're going to use an S3 bucket. Um, not all of our users are in one location, though. Um, we have them all over the world. So we should make use of a CDN to make sure that all our bits get to our users as quickly as possible. And even if your users are all in one spot, um, serving over CloudFront is way cheaper than just serving straight out of S3. Um, we want to keep our repo secure. So um, we can run a Lambda Edge, which will basically just run on the CloudFront uh, the local CloudFront edge location, and it's going to inject basic auth into the request. So same as turning basic auth on an Nginx or Apache. And obviously, there's no point in having authentication if we're sending our creds over to clear, in the clear. So we all use ACM to manage our certificates. It means we don't need to worry about renewals or anything like that. Amazon will just manage that for us. And that sounds like a load of work, doesn't it? Um, and signing up on Monkey Repos up a lot of people need to do. It seems silly that everyone needs to configure parts of these by themselves. If only there was some way to um, package up this group of resources. Oh, wait, there is. Um, Terraform has modules. 
um, allows us to come up common pieces of configuration. Um, in this case, I've made a monkey repo module that's on the Terraform registry. Um, so others can easily stand up this infrastructure without having to worry about ARNs, ACMs, S3 buckets, the rest of it. But um, unfortunately, the uh, title of this talk was a complete lie. It is impossible to stand this up in three minutes um, because uh, CloudFront takes ages to do its thing all over the world. So um, I did a demo earlier, um, which we can now have a look at. Um, let's hope it worked. I didn't actually check. <laughs> exit, exit, computers are hard. All right. This press, I should just let this open. I know how computers work. No, it's here. Arrangement, mirror displays. Oh, we mirrored. Cool, we mirrored. All right. So, let's have a look. This is the code I ran earlier. We are telling Terraform we want to do stuff in AWS and put it in US East 1. We are using our monkey module, monkey repo module. I'm telling it where to get it from, which is this uh, translates to the uh, Terraform registry. Um, sorry, can you read that? That's big enough, right? Should have asked, sorry. Um, specify what version we want. And we pass in some variables. So we want our S3 bucket to be called because that needs to be unique across all of Amazon. Um, Username and password for basic auth, and a prefix to put in front of our resources, which needs to be uniquely named within our account. So things like the land function, um, the IAM roles, that kind of stuff. So um, then we have inputs, um, a username and password. So if this code is on GitHub, um, I'll put a link to it in my slides before it, when it gets shared out. Um, so please change these. Please change these. These are not good passwords. And um, I ran this all in a terrible Python script. Um, so we can capture outputs from Terraform and use them elsewhere. So obviously things are computed during this, like the CloudFront URL. We're not specifying a host name or creating DNS records. We can use the default CloudFront stuff. And then uh, I use name password again, because we'll just put it out, because this script will do things like the Terraform, Terraform init. So Say, yo, I want to use Terraform, go get all the modules I'm using. A Terraform plan, what kind of beach ball do you have? Terraform apply, here's your beach ball. And then we run a few things to get some outputs, and then we uh, just, we sync up our monkey repo, because we have to sync, put our, actually put our files into S3, shockingly. And then we spit out a profile. So we can have a look at this, and this is the output that I ran earlier, and you can see that Terraform's going cool, initialized, that's fun. I need to create a whole load of stuff, cool story. Um, a lot of stuff that we don't really care about because that's what Terraform's for. Just do it for me, don't make me think about it. Creating all the things, lots of things, so many things, the best things. Um, do, 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 do. And then, okay, cool. I had seven things to add. That was amazingly just seven things. Um, CloudFront has a lot of options. Um, so then we're gonna go Terraform apply. We're gonna go run and it's creating things and then you'll see why I did this earlier. 20 seconds elapsed. Four minutes elapsed. Eight minutes elapsed. Nine minutes. Keep going. Still creating. I'm still doing stuff. Yeah, I did it but in 13 minutes. So that's our monkey repo stood up and we're spitting out our output. So this is where our monkey client's gonna be looking at. CloudFront address. Then we're gonna sync up our really complicated monkey repo with one whole thing in it. So we'll head over to our client and drag over our profile. Dun. Come on, there we go. Yeah, sure. Yeah, not signed, cool. P-A-S-S, -S. we're super secure here. <laughs> you can't have a short password anymore, it's really annoying. I, it actually broke my workflow when I couldn't have peers my default testing password. <laughs> All right, so we've got monkey, stood up, monkey set up and I have actually installed this. If I learn how computers work again, oh come on computer. I should stop doing demos, one year I'll learn. 
All right, cool. So Monkey's now going to go and... I bet I'm not on the Wi-Fi now, am I? No, I'm not on the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Well, could someone just shout the username to me? Because I don't remember it. One, one person, please. I can only hear one. And that's, I don't remember the password. Yeah, yeah, I totally read that. I know what that is. Cool, all right, so now it might work. Yeah, and we're done in Chrome. Cool, woo! Um, it's actually relatively quick. Um, obviously, this would be a lot quicker if the Wi-Fi was quicker, because cloud is really quick. All right, um, oh, someone's back me. Um, I should have closed that. All right, so that's it. Um, thank you. Um, I'm on the internet at these places. Please donate to Movember um, because we didn't manage to cure cancer this year. So keep going. Um, we've probably got time for questions. <laughs> Maybe.